eCloud Manager is an enterprise cloud management solution that spans infrastructure, application, and business stacks and can be used to build and run private and public clouds with a modular, flexible, scalable, and open architecture and seamless integration to existing storage, networking, and virtualization providers, as well as business resources. eCloud Manager was designed to simplify and automate daily IT operations and acts as a unified monitoring and management platform for the entire data center. It supports the transition to cloud-based environments and allows enterprises to deliver IT-as-a-service offerings. eCloud Manager allows for end-to-end -end data center monitoring through a single pane of glass. This includes application to disk integration and monitoring, correlation of business and technical information, integration of data across the borders of departments, collaborative generation and augmentation of knowledge, and on-demand dashboarding, analytics, and reporting. eCloud Manager delivers multiple benefits in data center monitoring scenarios. It manages data centers distributed across several geographies. It offers a converged view over infrastructure and application resources. It provides an extensible schema to allow for on-demand integration of additional data sources. It reduces IT costs through optimized infrastructure workloads. It allows for automatic error discovery and handling throughout the entire IT stack. And it enables optimized IT stack resource utilization and simplified administration. All this allows for innovation, automation, and transparency in your data center. This screen cam will give you a first insight into how eCloud Manager monitors entire data centers through a single pane of glass. Let's see how it works. eCloud Manager provides a converged view over the data center. It provides insight into the hardware layer, the virtualization layer, the application layer, and into projects and customers. This use case focuses on the information retrieved from infrastructure resources, the connection between infrastructure components and the relationship to business level information. Technical data is pre-populated by eCloud Manager infrastructure providers. From here, you can navigate to the infrastructure components in the data center and to central eCloud Manager modules. Let's start by taking a look at the storage systems in the data center. Please note that similar information is available for compute, network, and application resources. The storage page shows the monitored storage systems, the storage load in the data center, as well as related entities such as aggregates, volumes, and lungs. The events table displays all active errors affecting the monitored storage systems and informs you about the systems that you should take a closer look at. Let's take a look at the storage tree. It automatically displays the correlations between various storage objects. eCloud Manager displays a list of all storage systems currently available, including capacity and usage information about these systems. Please note that eCloud Manager can support several storage systems from several vendors. Customizable charts visualize the number of storages used in the data center over time. This allows you to analyze historic data and to predict trends. Let's have a more detailed look at the storage systems and see how you can navigate from the storage layer to the application layer. The event overview page provides information about the event context, including information about the source of the problem. By clicking on the event trigger, you are directed to the storage system, which triggered the event. 
The storage overview page displays general information about the resource as well as its associated aggregates and volumes. Let's have a look at another storage system and see how it is connected to the application layer. For this, we go back to the storages overview and choose another system. Here, you can add or change the responsible person for the storage system. From here, you can also navigate to the compute resources attached to this storage system. First, we take a look at a volume on the storage system. And then navigate to a LUN on this volume. By clicking on a virtual machine connected to this LUN, data center administrators navigate to a comprehensive overview page, including relevant information about this virtual machine. In addition, they can get an overview of the errors and warnings related to this VM. Start, stop, reboot, suspend, delete, clone, or freeze the state of the virtual machine. Define responsible person for this virtual machine and see all associated LUNs, golden images, application, and patches. By clicking on the virtual landscape, the data center administrator can navigate even further to systems running on this virtual machine. Let's take a look. Here we have an overview of all relevant information about the SAP landscape. And we have the possibility to start, stop, and reboot the landscape. When going through the landscape's overview page, we see dynamic links, responsible persons, virtual machines, The utilization report shows the CPU and memory utilization of this landscape over time. Now let's have a look at the applications. eCloud Manager provides additional data center monitoring information. The enterprise dashboards show an overview of the SAP applications currently running in the data center. eCloud Manager does not only display the overall application status, but also the monitored SAP landscape instances, as well as the ABAP and Java monitoring information directly from the SAP systems themselves. For more information on our product, you can also watch our demos on IT as a Service and Collaborative Operations Management and Data Center Intelligence with eCloud Manager. For further information, visit our website. Thank you for watching.